Central California is a conference of significant firsts. Hi, I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey, and this is Central California Conference Week on All God's People. Central California has the distinction of being the very first place in the West to be touched by the Adventist message. In 1859, when Merritt Kellogg, stepbrother of John Harvey Kellogg, arrived in San Francisco with his wife and young son, he began sharing his faith by giving Bible studies. By 1861, Merritt Kellogg had collected a group of 14 believers together. In 1868, he was successful in persuading the General Conference to send evangelists to California, and their ship brought them into San Francisco Bay. The Adventist work began to spread out from there. James and Ellen White accepted an invitation to visit California and traveled to Oakland, arriving in September 1872. It didn't take long for James and Ellen to make Oakland the center for the work in California. During a camp meeting in 1873, the California Conference was officially organized with seven churches and 253 members. In 1897, Central California's first church school started in Fresno, and Armona Union Academy was established as the first 12th grade academy in 1911. Because of the rapid growth, a decision was made to divide the California Conference, and Central California Conference was officially organized on March 1, 1911. In 1929, the first Central California Conference summer camp was held at Camp Wawona, charging just $10 to attend a 10-day program. In 1931, the land was purchased for a youth camp, and over the years it grew to 31 acres in the heart of what is now Yosemite National Park. In part because of its unparalleled location, Wawona has been a much-loved and deeply valued center for retreats, summer camp, and outdoor school ministries. In 1947, a permanent location for camp meeting was found in Soquel, near Santa Cruz, and 87 acres were purchased. It was first used for camp meeting during the summer of 1948. And on a personal note, my father, George Vandeman, was the very first Soquel camp meeting speaker. In 2018, Soquel celebrated 70 years of camp meetings. The work continues to grow and thrive in Central California. There are currently 34,217 members with 156 congregations. At present, there are 19 schools, three of which are open with no county restrictions, 10 open with waivers, and nine with cohorts. The leaders, pastors, teachers, and members in Central California continue to live their vision statement of reflecting Christ, transforming communities. Since August 17, there have been over 25 fires within the 17 counties of Central California. Included in that total are three mega complex fires, the CZU Lightning Complex Fire, the SCU Lightning Complex Fire, and the SQF Complex Fire. Not long after the fire started, Santa Cruz County partnered with the Soquel Conference Center to shelter the evacuees from the fires. Although the site hit capacity for several days, each need was met, so much so that the main auditorium was needed to store the overflow of materials. Read more in the October Recorder. Two years ago, Central's young adult team hosted a symposium for public speaking that drew more than 160 people of all ages. The symposium presented new and innovative ways to train and equip laity for ministry. The training has become very useful for what is now commonplace, Zoom-based ministry during the lockdown imposed on churches during the coronavirus crisis. Within the first weeks of the pandemic, Pastor Anil Kanda, director of the Young Adult and Youth Discipleship Department, and his team launched a program that included one or two virtual meetings every day to meet spiritual needs. Then they launched a series of growth labs, which taught practical skills such as finance, fitness, and gardening. Each episode averaged 6,000 views. The age of virtual meetings has given rise to new opportunities for building community, transforming lives, and bringing hope to those in their sphere of influence. Well done, young adult team. When the pandemic shut down the state and the conference had to cancel camp meeting, it provided an opportunity to jump into action to reach as wide an audience as possible. The Hispanic pastoral team put together the first ever Central California Conference Biblical Theological Symposium and presented the theme of La Biblia y los Eventos Finales virtually. The symposium held in July had amazing results. 
using social media applications such as Facebook and YouTube. Promotion for the event started two weeks prior to opening. Within 60 minutes of the first promotion, the Facebook post had reached 3,000 people, and it is still adding viewers each week. People were viewing not only from Central California, but from Canada, Europe, and South America. The program has reached over 500,000 people, and online participation has continued to climb, and there have already been 48 baptisms as a result of the symposium. The question and answer segments after every program were a highlight. Viewers were able to ask any questions that related to the topic of the day, while relationships were formed in the comment and chat areas. It has now expanded to a live program every Friday evening entitled Echoes of the Symposium. All of the seminars given in the symposium are archived on their YouTube and Facebook pages. From October 23 to October 31, the Central California Conference is hosting a virtual must-see event titled What's Next? A Biblical Symposium on Final Events. Featured scholars from Adventist universities include Ranko Stefanovic, Kendra Holoviak Valentine, John Pauline, Leslie Pollard, and others. More details can be found in our bulletin. It begins tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. From helping evacuees during the fires, to keeping young adults and members connected virtually, to the Hispanic Last Day Events Symposium reaching thousands of people worldwide, to the virtual event beginning this evening, Central California Conference is truly living their mission statement, empowering every person to be a disciple of Jesus Christ and a center of influence for the kingdom of heaven. Thank you for joining us this week. For all God's people, I'm Connie Jeffrey.